G'day guys, today I'm going to show you how to uh, prep, prime and paint a used piece of corrugated iron. So we're going to use this, um, these pieces of corrugated iron to clad our tiny house. Uh, I've got these second hand for uh, cost advantages. And also the colour that we want to paint this corrugate doesn't match a standard colour, steel colour, so we're better off to paint it ourselves anyway. Uh, as you can see, there's a few nail holes and whatnot, but because of our, um, our building system on our tiny house, that's not a problem at all. Um, and in reality, you won't really even see these holes anyway, and it does add a bit of character to the house, we think. Um, so I've just ground... There's a bit of a burr on the back of these. This is the actual back side of the sheet. Um, they're just in a bit better condition and easier to tidy up. So I've just ground off the burrs off these holes just to tidy those up. Uh, smoothed off the edge here just with a bit of um, emery paper or sandpaper. And then given the whole thing just a bit of a bit of a wipe down with the sandpaper. Um, given it a good, good wash with water and soap. Clean that off and now we're ready to paint. So the product we're going to use here, we need an etching um, undercoat and something that's going to protect um, the iron from rusting. So we've cho chosen to use uh, Resine Galvo 1. Uh, that's a galvanised steel primer. Uh, this is an oil based paint. Let that go off for 12 hours before you put a top coat on. Now you can brush, roll, or mop the stuff on. The literature does point towards brushing. Uh, I tend to agree. It goes on pretty nicely, especially being that oil-based paint with the brush. And we're also chosen to paint. It's a pretty warm day today. To paint um, inside in the shade, just so it doesn't start going off on you in the hot heat. A couple of days later now. Uh, yesterday I applied. Uh, this resin at Lumber Cider Paint. I uh, got the first coat on, um, that went pretty well with a brush. Um, again, it's nice and smooth. Uh, this is a water based paint now, so it's easy on the cleanup. Uh, this here is actually a cool colour. Let's get that a bit closer. A cool colour that they do. It's an added technology that you can choose to add in, and it works very well on the darker colours. Uh, what it does, it uses a sort of similar technology, don't ask me how it works, um, as dark, say like dark leaves um, in nature, that when you actually touch a dark leaf it doesn't get hot, but most, as you know, most colours, dark colours absorb heat. So this here um, somehow reflects the heat, and I hope to do a test um, with this cool colour in a later video, so stay, stay tuned for that. So we're going with two different materials for our cladding. Uh, the corrugate which I've been talking about and this reused uh, radiator pine timber. Um, we've got a standard resin product on here. Um, it's a colour stain and of course we want to match these two colours as close as possible. So resin's sort of done a colour match for us to get that as close as possible. 